Did you know there's a fish that literally shocks its way through life? Meet the electric eel, one of the most fascinating and dangerous creatures in the water. With the ability to generate up to 600 volts of electricity, it's nothing short of nature's very own power plant. Today, let's dive into the incredible world of the electric eel. In the world of electric fish, and there are hundreds of species, the electric eel is the undisputed heavyweight champion. Think of it as the Mike Tyson of the underwater world. In fact, it's responsible for more annual casualties than the infamous piranha. Surprising, isn't it? While piranhas often get the bad rap, the electric eel quietly claims the top spot. So, what makes it so terrifying? The electric eel can generate shocks of up to 600 volts. To put that into perspective, that's enough to light up a room full of lamps. Even baby eels can deliver a mild shock, but fully grown ones? You'd regret swimming in the same river. But here's the twist. Despite their incredible power, these creatures mostly prey on small fish. Imagine using a cannon for a snowball fight. That's the electric eel's hunting strategy. When it spots its prey, it gives a shiver, its version of grace before a meal, and releases an electric jolt, finishing the hunt in an instant. Dinner is served. Electric eels primarily inhabit the shallow rivers of South America, especially around the Amazon basin. Interestingly, these rivers often have low oxygen levels, so electric eels need to surface regularly to breathe. Every two hours, they rise to the surface and take a 10-minute breathing break. Sounds familiar? Kind of like us humans needing a quick breather after a couple of hours of work. Their anatomy is just as fascinating. Adult electric eels can grow up to 1.5 meters long and weigh around 40 kilograms. Their bodies are smooth and cylindrical, mostly brown in color with a bright orange underbelly. But the most astonishing part? Two-thirds of their bodies are dedicated to electricity-producing organs. Electric eels use their shocks to defend themselves and stun their prey, but that's not all. They also emit weak electric currents to sense their surroundings, essentially using a form of electric echolocation. It's an ingenious system. That said, electric eels are far more aggressive than they look. If something approaches their territory, they won't hesitate to respond with a jolt, no conversation required. So, if you ever encounter one, keep your distance. Their personal space extends about three meters, and crossing that boundary could result in a very unwelcome shock. Let's take a quick detour into history. In 19th century South America, local villagers used horses to catch electric eels. They would drive the horses into shallow rivers, where the eels would discharge their electricity until they were exhausted. Once the eels were worn out, they were easily captured. The horses, they were fine, though probably not too thrilled about the whole ordeal. In modern times, scientists are finally beginning to unravel the mysteries of these electrifying creatures. Recent studies have revealed that the height of an electric eel's jump correlates with the strength of its shock. The higher the jump, the stronger the zap. Now that's what I call a shocking discovery. Electric eels are truly fascinating creatures, but they also remind us of the incredible power of nature. So if you ever encounter one, don't touch it, don't get too close, and definitely stay out of its way. That's the safest approach. And that's it for today's story. If you found this tale electrifying and entertaining, please give this video a like and share it with someone who could use a little spark in their life. Until next time, take care and see you again soon.